Hi there everybody and welcome back. In this video I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the transition metal complex ion theory. We're going to start off with what a transition metal ion is and it's a d block element with at least one stable ion with an incomplete d subshell or orbital. These transition metal ions get surrounded by ligands and a ligand is a molecule or ion which donates a lone pair to form a coordinate bond with the transition metal ion. You might recognize coordinate bonds as dative covalent bonds from the first year of your chemistry course. So a good example of a transition metal ion is copper 2 and a good example of a monodentate ligand is H2O. Bond connectivity is really important when we're drawing these structures out shortly. Here you can see, for example, I'm introducing this by pointing out the location of the lone pair on the H2O ligand as clearly being on the oxygen. It's this lone pair that gets donated to the transition metal ion to form the coordinate bond. Once the required number of ligands have made their coordinate bonds to the transition metal ion, we produce this, which is a complex ion. It's a transition element ion surrounded by the ligands in coordinate bonds. It doesn't mean complex as in complicated, it means complex as in large structure. Here you can see I'm very gracefully adding square brackets to the surrounding of my structure. This is quite common as what we show on the outside of the square brackets is an ionic charge in our complex ion. Here the 2 plus comes from the balance between the oxidation state of the transition metal ion that's in the complex ion structure and any charges that are on the ligands that have now been bonded to it. So here for instance I've got 6 H2Os which are neutral and I've got a Cu2 plus transition element ion and so that's 2 plus overall which goes on the outside of the square brackets. The shape itself is actually octahedral which again you'll recognize from first year and whilst keeping an eye on bond connectivity you can draw out this structure of the complex ion using the H2O ligands and showing them however you really want so long as you make those connections in the right way. Don't forget your square brackets at the end and maybe read up a little further on different examples of that charge on the outside of those square brackets. And there we have it. Those are the three terms that you need to be aware of to make a head start in the transition element complex ion theory. If you want to take the content from this video a little further, then I recommend you start researching examples that use other monodentate ligands, like chloride ions or cyanide examples, and I also recommend you start to research what is meant by the term bidentate ligand. There should be some links to videos on screen now that can help you out with this. And until next time, happy revising.